for instance, I mean famously or infamously, uh, string theory, which is a very serious enterprise and uh, may well contain the ideas that will lead to a final theory, uh, doesn't really have a, uh, a formulation. <laughs> it's, it's called a theory as if there's a theory, but it's not. It's, it's, it's really a grab bag of ideas that uh, have a certain inner coherence, but you, I don't know what the question is to which string theory is the answer. It doesn't have anything comparable to uh, gauge symmetry or the principles of general covariance and general relativity, or even even things like chirality, or something. It, it, it doesn't have a leading principle that organize, and no one, and you can't write down what the equation is. There's no equation to which it's the solution uh, that uh, people. Uh, so, so maybe people, someone, some person, some bright person will uh, will figure out what the missing principle is, and. Uh, then this grab bag of ideas may be transformed in some way, may be added to, uh, suddenly will become much more usable and much, and much more predictive. And so, so that's, it's conceivable, but it, uh, you know, it's, been a, it's been a while and <laughs> that, that, no, that, that hasn't happened. And uh, so it can't be too easy. And well, I don't know. I mean, it's hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think a, a good theory has to fit on a t-shirt like the standard model compared to kind of being uh, a no uh not necessarily but but uh that's historically that's often been the product of uh of this process of trying to boil things down and get the logical principles clear and uh in in physics, that's certainly been the, the ideal for a long, long time and has been a very fruitful ideal. Uh, but the world doesn't necessarily have to cooperate. You know, there could be things, things you could have. Uh, well, a thought experiment that I, I, I often regress to <laughs> is uh, I think it's very plausible that uh, you could and maybe someday thousands of years from now people will <laughs> be able to uh, create worlds inside computers that contain intelligent intelligences that uh, that don't know necessarily that they're inside a computer or don't think about themselves that way. But the, these entities uh, would live in a world that whose laws are programmed. Right? They, not given by God or Plato or whatever that, that, that as, as, a, uh, uh, as, a, as, as a in the form of elegant equations that involve continua and so on. Uh, but as a program that somebody wrote <laughs> and they could look very inelegant. They could look, uh, I mean, most programs are inelegant. <laughs> they have to deal with all kinds of contingencies and, and, and exceptions and things. And, uh, um, and then, you know, if, if such an entity tried to figure out the laws of their world, they would not be able to find a concise description. They would find more and more things, you know, that different laws apply to different levels of the game if it's a Super Mario world. For <laughs> that, 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 uh, but each one has its laws, but but uh, there's no way of getting unified description, really. 